Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'd like to demonstrate the Wix website builder in 2017, take a walk through it, and show you uh, step by step how to build up a website using their tools. So when you first go into Wix, create an account, which you can do by logging into Google, and I think Facebook as well, uh, you get to choose a category. So in this case, we'll do something simple, so either blog or business, uh, I suppose we'll do business. Uh, since, you know, a, a blog would be a bit more simple to create. And uh, from here you have two different options. You can either do create your website with the Wix editor, which is going to be similar to Weebly. Uh, what kind of you set most things up yourself, but they also have Wix ADI, Artificial Intelligence Design, which is their new tool um, for kind of having the system help to design your site for you. So it's almost like you have a robot designer you as you go ahead and building your website which I think is pretty cool and that's one of the reasons I wanted to do this video today so we'll be doing that version though of course uh, once you've built up your website using Wix you can go back in and edit it uh, using the Weebly uh, no sorry the Wix editor functions Sorry right there wrong web platform uh, so we can put into some keywords here to kind of give the bot uh, information on what kind of site we're building so Let's try something kind of random. I, I want to do a uh, flower sales website. Okay, and it gives us some options. So let's go with a flower shop. Okay, so next. And then you can mark uh, which features your site wants by default. So do you plan on selling products online? I, I suppose a flower shop would want that. Uh, bookings and appointments, maybe not. Get subscribers for an emailing list and a blog. That sounds like things we want. So I'm going to go ahead and hit next here. And uh, the name of the website or business. Well, the name doesn't matter. Test number 337. Why not? Obviously, we would put the real name of your business in there. Uh, if you have an address to put in for a physical address business, that's probably something you want to fill in there. Um, let's just fill this in with the channel email. And everything else I think we can ignore for now. Uh, if you want to add a logo, this stuff will be used later on. Social media, why not? Let's uh, put in good channel slash C slash just tutorials on YouTube, I believe is the latest link. So next. And now it's going to go back into uh, basically the automatic processing. And it's going to kind of set everything up by default. And then we can change things around, have it kind of do another random roll of some of the features, such as how the fonts look or what color scheme we want to go with. And this does take a minute. I think that was about 20, 30 seconds. Okay, so next here. And from here we can kind of pick uh, basically like a color scheme. So deep forest doesn't sound too bad. Fresh sounds like it might be really relevant for a flower shop. And you can get a notice a lot of these uh, color schemes are in the sense of like the flowery earthy thing. So it's done a pretty decent job of picking that up. I think I'll just go with fresh because it's green, plants are green, so hey, why not? And create my home page. All right, this takes a couple seconds here as it kind of automatically generates all the different things. I can't remember, does it create the pages like the contact page itself? Right, well, we'll find out. Okay, so here's our home page. You can see it's uh, put in the phone number. I didn't manually add one in, but if there was a real phone number, it would be up there. The email address for the business, uh, shopping cart, uh, links to the shop page already created. Uh, scroll down, and we can see kind of like the uh, front page header, which we can change with a uh, slider there. Um, some default content. And a... Uh, Notice, pretty cool. It uh, actually has some relevant titles and stuff. Uh, though you would definitely change that in at some point. Okay, a contact form. That's good. And then here's the section for the shop. Of course, we would need to manually go in and add in some products later on. And a subscribe box for collecting emails, as well as social media icons down here. You can see the little one for YouTube and the email address. And then a little sign that it was created with Wix. So let's hit next. And uh, we're going to have basically a list of new sections here. 
which we can fill out. So it's it's very much walk you through it. Um, already kind of previewed it, so I'm going to skip that. Let's try changing the website design. So you can either do it for me and have it pick something out for you, or you can hit show me how, um, which kind of walks you through the steps. So let's see, site design. Uh, and we can switch to a different theme. Of course, you can see some new ones here. As you go further down, they're less related to the keywords you picked out. So maybe we want bokeh theme. So let's go ahead and load that up. Okay, not too bad. That went ahead and changed the font, the color scheme, and a lot of other stuff. Uh, but it did keep the page layout in mind, so I'll keep that. Uh, website colors. So this is kind of getting more down to specific details. So we might be using the bouquet color scheme, but maybe we want to change the color palette, and that's one thing we can do here. So let's say we want some darker colors, like uh, more of a red rather than just the pink. We can load that up, and it already goes ahead and applies things uh, as it thinks it should be. So I'm going to say yes. Change website fonts. We'll do that as well. Maybe we don't want kind of cursive handwriting. Let's try to do it for me. <clears throat> okay, so opening the design panel. Actually, I'm trying not to touch it right now. Okay, so yeah, it literally is going and doing it for me. I'm not moving the mouse. Uh, hopefully you guys can see the cursor. That's actually really cool. To be honest, things like this might be like the death of web developers. <laughs> or at least designers. I don't know. It, it's a really cool thing, though. Okay, uh, let's see. So, I, I don't know if it knew that I wanted it to not be cursive. I'm guessing it just kind of picked something else, like the next suggested one down the list. But I think that looks pretty good. Uh, the titles are definitely cleaner, so let's keep it, or you can try another. Um, change website animation. Okay, so this would be how your uh, different sections, like say peonies, spring daffodils, those kind of things would load into the page as you scroll down. So we're going to do it manually. Customize design, and it'll take us to the animation section, where we can uh, choose one of these. So maybe fold or fly. Uh, let's try fold simply because I think that'll be pretty visual and preview it. So this will be how it looks to like people who just kind of load up the website and see that those sections kind of flew in. Pretty cool. Let's see if there's another one down here. Yeah. And as you can see, it also only plays those animations as you get to the right part on the web page, which is nice. So we'll just keep that for now. Get back to that section. Uh, so from here, uh, what we would want to do is edit some of the section content and add in new sections maybe or add in new pages, kind of customizing your site. This is probably the part where uh, whoever's going to write the content for your site is really going to come into play. So change section design. Uh, let's give that one a, a stop too. Just do it for me. Why not? Um, and let's say uh, this one since that looks like the one that might have the most options. I'm kind of curious what it's going to do here. Is it just going to go to the next one down the list? Looks kind of like that's what it did. Okay. Nice. I don't, I, I don't actually like that. You know, I think that the first time it was better, so let's just give it another, another shot at it. And obviously, if you wanted to, it wouldn't be too hard for you to go down the list and kind of pick ones out. But I, I think the coolest thing about this tool is probably that based on your keywords, it's kind of giving you some suggestions for your site on how it could look to kind of fit the theme. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. So let's just keep that. And now we can edit the section content. So I'll click and let's just change one of these pieces. So let's see, we have the uh, header title, the description, Chris Tutorials Test number 1337. Sounds like a terrible name for a flower store. Uh, but let's change the peonies one. Uh, maybe we don't want peonies, but we want, I don't know. I, I don't know if purple daffodils, I, oh yeah, 
Now daffodils is already there. Let's say purple rose. Maybe we can even suggest a price. That might be cute. Ah, so if you enable price, it enables it for all of them. Okay. And then we'd probably want something like the link to be connected to a product, right? So let's see if we can get there. Product page. All right. Okay, okay, I see. So I was actually customizing the link for the middle one. Uh, let's just go ahead and test that out. So close that. Um, preview the site. Okay, preview. I just want to see what happens when we click that button. So send now. It's going to take us to supposedly uh, the product page where the product widget is at. Okay, so that actually linked us right to a specific product page. And uh, taking a look at it, it's pretty nice. This is kind of similar to what you would get out of, say, WooCommerce inside of uh, WordPress. I think actually even to get custom colors, that's its own separate plugin that you have to integrate with your site. So not bad. Um, also share links to social media platforms. Kind of got a, everything pretty complete there. So that's nice. Uh, let's exit out here. And uh, what's left? So adding a new section, we can try that. Okay, and we'll add it to this page. Possible sections based on relevance. Okay, so what are the kind of sections would we want? About us, why not? With an image there, that sounds not too bad. And we can select different layouts. Kind of like the one where the image is on the left. So maybe we go with this one here. That looks like a nice big image for a flower shop. Okay, I'm not sure if it select like or drag to section. Okay, there we go. I think it loaded this time. So let's click done and see how that looks. Okay, so it's going to be down, 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 down. And uh, not bad, it kind of seamlessly integrated there. Uh, obviously, we'd need to change the text, but um, yeah, it's to help design the site and optimize your content for you. And uh, lastly, we can add new pages in. So this is going to be useful if you want like separate page for, I don't know, contact form. Maybe a specific site or, or a products page. So let's see, uh, optional ones. And somebody got some suggestions here. Let's do testimonials. Why not? Our reviews. Totally real reviews here. Uh, click to add to page. So this is its own separate page now. Um, and it's already gone ahead and added the link to the top, which is good. And we just need to. Maybe add in some new sections to this page, and then later edit the content. So uh, hopefully what I'm demonstrating with this uh, Wix ADI system is that it's pretty fast to get something actually quite reasonable and professional looking up and running. And uh, Wix is, of course, uh, free to try. They have premium uh, features, or premium versions of the service that allow you to have more bandwidth and that kind of thing. But I think if you're in the market for something like um, a website builder and uh, you don't want to go with WordPress, uh, Wix is a good alternative to Weebly. I also should mention, done some tutorials on Weebly as well. So uh, you can check those out. I'll have some links down below. Um, and yeah, I think we can just kind of close that out. Obviously, when you do this, you're going to spend some more time with it, kind of picking the sections you want but I don't want to go on forever. And we have a couple more things here. So publish this site, just uh, take care of that. One click. Okay, and this will be test one, two, three, seven. And uh, of course you can put in your 
real domain name. So if you have uh, purchased a domain, that's where you would do it. Um, let's go ahead and hit done for now. But connecting your domain and improving your search engine ranking. Curious about this section. So let's see the page manager. I'm guessing this is adding SEO. I didn't actually go this far before the demo. Um, page settings. Page SEO, uh, yeah, probably descriptions and titles and that kind of thing, yeah, as well as keywords. So that's something you probably want to take care of, adding in some keywords, basically tags, so that you can rank higher in the search engine. Um, would be a good idea. But yeah, that's pretty straightforward there. So let's go. I'll get found on Google. So they have some SEO tools. We're not going to cover that in this video just for length. I think I've probably been going on about 20 minutes now. Let's see. Cool. I'll have to uh, take a look at this later. So if you want to subscribe to my channel, I'll definitely uh, check out Wix SEO Wiz later on. Uh, but yeah, that's the basics for how you would get a uh, site set up, at least getting started using Wix, uh, their ADI system, artificial design intelligence i think that's what it stood for so pretty cool i hope this has given you guys something to think about uh it's a pretty cool tool free to try and of course they have premium services as well uh do note that when you use a platform like wix or uh weebly that you don't actually have to pay for your own web hosting because they host it for you so that's cool um but aside from that that's going to be all for this video i've been chris thank you for watching and i will see you all in my future video content